Just headed off from Malula Bar. Just in the distance over there. We've got a north northeasterly wind. Forecast was for about uh, 10 to 12 knots. It's currently blowing 16, uh, gusting about 18, according to Willie Weather. Uh, we're sailing up to the White Bay Bar overnight. Uh, should take about uh, 14 hours. Um, it's not ideal conditions out here, but there is some weather coming through in a couple of days, so I want to be on the inside of Fraser for that. I've got almost a full head sail up at the moment, no main. Uh, with the main, it would just be a little bit too overpowered up here. It's gusting, like I said, 18 knots. Um, the autopilot's handling it pretty well. It is just hard going into this sloppy sea state. It's meant to calm down overnight and, uh, yeah, calm down overnight to about uh, 5 to 10 knots. Um, so I may end up having to motor through the night just to make some, oh gosh, it's slippery down here. Uh, make some headway. Evening of day one. Struggling against this northerly. Haven't gone too far really. The Jimber Island just in the background there. Heading into the night. Winds are meant to calm down. Uh, to about five to seven knots. Currently it's about 16 knots. Uh, so we might have to turn the engine on throughout the night just to make it for the Wide Bay Bar entrance uh, at about midday tomorrow. See so how we go. Currently 1.30 uh, on the on night one of my trip from Malula Bar to the Wide Bay Bar. Uh, the winds have died off almost completely now, which has actually been good because they're in the right on the nose. So it's allowed me to, to chuck the engine on and motor uh, through it really well. As you can see, we're currently just off Noosa Heads here, travelling along quite nicely at four, about four knots, four and a half knots. We struggled in the beginning with the wind right on the nose and the big swell. The, uh, the engine was struggling, so I was having to tack back and forth, but then once it died down, uh, we've been able to motor since about Coolum here. Target is the Wide Bay Bar, just up here. Should be arriving there about 10 a.m. tomorrow. So I've just rounded Double Island Point in the background there. I'm gonna head along Rainbow Beach and then over to Inskip Point up there. Should be about a couple hours sail. I've just put both the head sail up and the main sail and uh, it's really nice to have the engine off and not have the purring of the end, the two stroke in the background. So we're aiming there for uh, 11.30 which is two hours before the uh, high tide and it looks like it uh, should be a good day to cross the bar do the dash, the mad mile. About to cross the Wide Bay Bar. Pretty tame today.
the Wide Bay Bar. They call it the Mad Mile. Apparently it gets pretty hectic here. This is my first time crossing it and it's a lovely day. Can't see any breaking waves anywhere. We've got a light northerly, so we're just sailing in on that. There's no beacons around here though. It's all uh, on the AIS uh, online charts. So you gotta keep an eye on it. Made it to Gary's anchorage. Uh, it's 4 p.m. now. I got here about 15 minutes ago. I went for a dip in the water and uh, washed myself off. So it ended up being from Malula Bar to here uh, about a 24, 25 hour sail um, and motor, a fair bit of motoring actually. So, which was very frustrating. But here we are at Gary's anchorage. It's quite nice, a bit blowy at the moment. Um, it's meant to be blowy throughout the night though. Um, so I'll be hanging out here for the night, then I'll head off at about five tomorrow, head to Harvey Bay to grab more fuel. I actually have chewed through a lot of fuel because I motored a fair bit of the way from Malulaba um, to Inskip Point, uh, Inskip Point, just because of the headwinds. So I need to top up fuel there and then from there, probably up to Bundaberg the next day, um, and just try and do as many day hops as possible and avoid the overnight trips. But we'll see how we go, see what this weather's doing. There's storms coming in this afternoon, I can see. And then for the next week until next Saturday, actually, there's um, about 15 to 25 knot southeasterlies coming through and some big swells. So. I'll just take each day as it comes and um, go from there. But for now, this is home. Morning of day three, just left Gary's anchorage over there. It's nice and calm for the night. Um, the winds were northwesterly, but they died down. A bit of a thunderstorm went through about 8 p.m. A little bit of rain, but nothing much else. And it's a beautiful morning here. Just it's 5 a.m. Um, just wanted to beat uh, the tide so that we could ride it out. We can ride it out of the passage here um, in the Sandy Straits, and we're heading for Harvey Bay. Got to refuel, and then from there we'll come up with a game plan of uh, what the weather's doing and where to go next. Harvey Bay is about a 33 nautical mile sail and motor away. Um, we're just making our way motoring through these sandy straits here. Hopefully we'll be able to put the sails up through this section here, but depends on wind direction. And then once we get out the top of the sandy straits, all the way up here, we'll just loop around into Harvey Bay around here somewhere and anchor there the night. So I'm expecting it to take uh, about eight hours or so, nine hours, um, as long as we make it to Harvey Bay tonight. Happy days. As you can see, there's a little bit of tide against us, but nothing too major. Just pulled up at Uranga. Uh, it's half past one. I uh, left this morning. Gary's Anchorage about 5am. Uh, there's no wind all morning until just before I pulled in here. So we've got Uranga Harvey Bay behind us. I'm just about to get some fuel. 
take the jerrys in on the dinghy, fill up with fuel, and then um, wait for this rain to begin a possible thunderstorm.